And if someone's going out and, and participating, like I said, it's between them and God, but I preach this early enough. I'm not going to preach it on Halloween. I preach it before Halloween because maybe you were ignorant of this. Maybe you didn't know. Maybe you just never really thought about it because you've already just been conditioned as a child going through this and it's just something that seems fun to you. You never really gave it too much thought. But I preach it early enough to give you enough thought so you can cancel any plans or not make any plans. You might have had to go out to those parties and get dressed up and, and be involved with that and promote that and decorate your old house and, and make everything fearful. It's not right. And the last point even is just the, the trick-or-treating aspect of the tradition. This is the question that's being asked right now. They don't even realize it. And I never thought about this when I was young. Be honest with this or keep it real. You go out, what do you do? You can trick or treat, trick or treat, and then people give you candy. And you get conditioned to just learn. You just go up to a door, you say trick or treat, and someone's going to throw candy in your bag, right? That's the tradition. That's what people do. But what is it that you're really doing? Trick or treat means give me a treat or else. So what is it that you want from me? Do you want a trick? Do you want me to trick you? Do you want me to do something to you? Do you want me to do something bad to your house? You, you know, or are you going to give me something? I mean, that's what it really means. That is what trick or treat means, regardless of what's actually happening when kids go out today. Now, I'm sure there are some kids that if someone said, I don't have anything for you, probably would give them a trick. Because it is a day that a lot of kids go out and do some really bad things. That's where you're going to have a lot more vandalism. That's where you're going to have a lot more of those types of crimes and people transgressing and not caring about other people's property. It's on Halloween. Because they get caught up in the wickedness and think, uh, you know, they, they become more rebellious. It's a fact. And like I said, I know that the vast majority of kids, they're not going out with the intention of, you know, tricking people. They're just, they're just being conditioned like everyone else is. But everything that we do has a meaning to it. And it will have an impact and an influence on you as a person. And, and, and it might even be subconscious. You don't really think about it that much, but that's what it is. That's what's being ingrained in the head. And you know, that's part of the reason of even having traditions. Typically, you, you establish traditions, and we see that all throughout Scripture, what, when traditions are being established, when they're established on God's Word. Part of the, the law of instituting all of the sacrifices and things like that, those, those are traditions. Those are things that people need to do. There's things that were done every year, every seven years. All these things that were instituted in the Bible in order to help the people of God remember things. And to just have that ingrained in their culture. That's why they had certain songs that they said, you know what? This song is going to be, end up testifying against you. It's going to be something that culturally everyone's going to know this song. They're going to memorize it. They're going to repeat it. It's going to get passed down from generation to generation to generation. And God knows it's going to get to a point to where people probably aren't going to be paying much attention to what the words of the song even says. And they're just going to be getting more and more wicked. But it's going to be this cultural tradition thing that's been passed down. So they're going to continue passing down these songs. But eventually someone's going to listen to it and go, wait a minute. What is this actually saying? Wow, how far we've slipped from God's word and you, there's actually meaning to this. And that's the purpose of those is to bring you back, to ratchet things back, to keep that in your mind. Well, that would be a good tradition, but all traditions will serve that purpose because it's something that's repetitive. It's something you're doing day, you know, year after year or day after day or whatever your tradition is, whatever your repetition is. Make sure the traditions that you're keeping are good. Halloween is a wicked tradition. And when the kids go out year after year after year, you know, I came up with, I didn't even hear preaching on the trick or treat thing. I figured it out on my own. I didn't figure out when I was real little, but after a while, it's like, yeah, that's, that's what's being said. Because after a while, you just start thinking, why do you say trick or treat? Why, like, why even do that? Oh, oh yeah, okay, well, that makes perfect sense. Give me something or I'm going to do something to you. That's, a, that's what's being taught. 